All right, let's uh, jump right in with the box office. Okay, coming in number one is Kung Fu Panda 3, as we expected, but we just didn't know um, how much it's going to open to. Last week, we predicted that, I mean, well, well, at least you say that um, it would do lower. Yeah. Uh, around, I think, in the 35 million range, because going by historical record, right? But the franchise is trending down. And I say right. that it would be, uh, you know, this is the movie that would rejuvenate the franchise because, hey, right. you know, more cute pandas probably doing 45 to 50 million range and hey it was right in the middle both right and wrong we're both kind of right and wrong on this yeah it did a little bit better than i expected and it did a mm -hmm. little bit lower than you expected so it was kind of in the middle of both of our predictions yeah right it pulled in 41 million over the weekend that, that's what the movie opened to and that's pretty good for the third film in the franchise even though it's a little bit lower it opened in january whereas the previous two opened in may and of course, January is generally a uh, slower season. And Kung Fu Panda 3 actually ended up being like one of the uh, biggest openings in January. I think I read that it's the biggest animated movie opening in January. It's probably the only wide animated release ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's the first one and it's the top one. Okay, right. Yeah. Oh, just for correction, I think the nut job in 2014 uh, opened in January too. So you could say, hey, Kung Fu Panda has the highest January opening ever. Yeah. Or animated movie. So. Yeah, but it's the nut shot. Right. So what do you think? I mean, is it kind of like, like I said, it's a return uh, for the franchise, do you think? I mean, it's a 41 million open. It's not too shabby. It's not like a significant drop off from the second movie. I think it is a return, mainly because the uh, reviews are pretty good. It's kind of in line with the previous films usually by the third film you know it's uh review tends to be worse and the voices tend to be worse and kung fu panda 3 did open in a slower season and 41 million sure is slower than uh the 47 from the previous film but the drop off isn't that much and again it's a slower season yeah i i attribute this uh, the lower take the lower opening to hey january yeah not the summer months where kids are out of yeah. school Right. So I think this is pretty good. This is kind of, like you said, it's kind of a, even though it's a little bit lower than what you expected, it's kind of a rejuvenation of the franchise. And like you said, adding more pandas did help the film. I think they're going for more family in the third film instead of more teenagers going more action. Yeah, it could be. Although from the reviews I read, the fight choreography is a lot more intricate and detailed than previous films. <laughs> Under the table, they might have consulted with Yin Wu Ping on the fight choreography. All right, uh, M okay. MMA matches between pandas. Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it could also just be um, the whole minions influence. You know, they've seen how a uh, movie filled with just minions have done, and they're like, hey, maybe we should just have the movie just with pandas. How can critics say anything bad about a film that is filled with? Cute pandas. For me, I think Kung Fu Panda 3, the tone is just brighter, lighter. People watch it, they're in it for a good laugh, and they're, I guess they're happier. It doesn't have like the heavy stuff of like the first movie. Oh, you need to defeat this bad guy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I forget what even the second movie is about. So yeah. <laughs> you know what? I actually thought the second movie, I think even uh, reviewers thought the second movie was uh, just as good, if not better, than the, the first film. It was darker, though. The second film was darker. I think most people would consider it a kind of a improvement over the first film, if not just as good. But the gross is on there. I think mainly it's because of the darker tone. It's almost like the Empire Strikes Back of this franchise. It is darker and more intense, like you said, and probably turn off some kids. Yeah, I think just parents taking the kids, I mean, you know, they just don't want them to uh, be exposed to this darker tone material, maybe. People just want to have a good time with family and, you know, and laugh it off. Yeah, the second one might be a little bit too intense for some kids. But the second one, the gangbusters in China, I mean, it did three times as well as the first film. Kung Fu Panda, the first one was like one of the high at the time, one of the highest, if not the highest grossing animated feature of all time in China. And then Kung Fu Panda 2 made three times that, which was kind of incredible. 